Chasefu district in eastern province of Zambia is endowed with high agricultural potential which remains largely untapped due to poor road network. The district houses the vast Chasefu constituency with a composition of 10 wards which are inaccessible at times because of the nature of terrain, especially that most bridges have been washed away during the rain season. However, this will be the thing of the past through the use of Enhanced Constituency Development Fund, CDF. The Chasefu Local Authority purchased earth-moving equipment to facilitate roadworks in the area. This consists of a grader bought at 2,051,000 kwacha, a dump truck at 600,000 kwacha, while a tractor and a tipping trailer at 1.2 million kwacha. 3.9 million kwacha has so far been spent on the investment from the 2022 Constituency Development Funds. Outspoken Mishak Nyambose is an independent member of parliament for Chasefu who has opted to work with the government to lobby for the development in his area to the benefit of his people. I was just elected as a member of parliament for this constituency Chasefu. And I was wondering how I was going to deliver development with the 1.6 million. But uh, God is there, not only for Chasefu, but for the entire country. We thank the president, Mr. Hakainde Ichirema, and the New Dawn administration. It's a blessing to this country to increase money for the little people. Here, where I'm standing behind me, what are you seeing? This is a testimony. And that we need to appreciate that the increase to the CDF is a massive increment and is a blessing to this country because all the rural towns, the rural constituencies now have this money. Following the recruitment of 30,000 teachers countrywide, Chasefu alone was allocated 473 teachers, thereby creating an accommodation crisis. Therefore, the local authority intends to locate a lion's share towards desks and accommodation of teachers, a challenge that has remained unresolved for about 50 years since Zambia became independent. The focus of the 2023 should go to desks and houses for teachers. You may wish to know that Chasefu, prior to the recruitment of the 30,000 teachers by government, Chasefu had um, 416 teachers. But during the recruitment, we were favored. Chasefu is big. We were given 473 teachers. 80% recruited from here. We thank the leadership. Has it happened before? We need to give praise where it is due. So those 473 teachers plus the other ones, who have been there, we need to motivate them to build houses. They deserve better accommodation, houses and water. We are not just going to build houses, we need to give them water, bone, toilets. We need to give them water from pipe to water. So this is a directive and the wish of this committee and the Council of Chasefu. So the focus for 2023, we shall put more money towards most classroom blocks, blocks, classroom blocks, then also housing and desks. You remember that there's a deadline given to us, a time frame, that no child should sit on the floor by December this year. And we have a set a team of technocrats. 
they have gotten the actual deficit of desks. We have about 6,000 plus deficit. He's also determined to accord the deceased a befitting send-off through the construction of a mortuary at the district main hospital. In the next one month, there will be a lot of activity. We are building our first mortuary unit. Already the contractor got the contract in two days, three days time uh, ago. They are starting our mortuary because we have already a mortuary unit. We have a challenge here in Chasefu. Our beloved ones are buried within hours. Why? We have nowhere to take the bodies. We are not mourning them in dignity. We want to accord them the respect that they deserve so that we can express ourselves. But that has been an issue because even Lundas, the mortuary unit keeps breaking down. We go to Lumezi, which is some distance, and the road is bad. So we took that initiative to build our own at the new um, a, our, our mini hospital. So we're putting up a maternity, I mean a, a mortuary unit. Right now the contract has been assigned. Mr. Nyambose now highlights some of the ongoing projects in the area. We are doing a one by three classroom block at Chandeke, which is as you enter the first school you, you see on your right. When you just leave our barrier there, there's Chandeke school, that is Chabori Ward. We are doing that, we are completing a one by three. We are also doing this Chambuzi primary, Chizingizi primary school. Chizingizi in deep there. This school was created in, was started in 1968. It has only a one by two block. The population has increased in Chizingizi. We started a one by three, which we are trying to finish up. We are doing another one by three at Muswazi in the Kajirime Ward, it's a community school. A contractor has just signed a contract. We want to do a new one, a proper one, at Muswazi Community School. The government, these teachers were sent to some of these community schools which have been upgraded. We need to move fast to ensure that our teachers, our civil servants, they are working in an environment that is conducive. In the area of youth and women empowerment, a total of 120 groups have since been empowered in various areas such as village banking, piggery, and pottery. The enhanced CDF appears to be working for the people of Chasefu, but as people say, the taste of the pudding is in the eating. Mm -hmm.